March 17th, Route to Glory is headlined by Josh Pibbel Torres against Morris Rodriguez. First off, Pip, how's camp going? I mean, camp's been great, man. Feeling good. We're feeling really strong, and we're just excited to come out and perform March 17th. We're here at the new home base. Is this the first camp out of the new home gym? The first full camp, yes. How has that been, having the luxury of home, not having to do as much traveling? It's been awesome. It's been great having the family in the next room over, having them in and out of the gym. It's just uh, it's motivation for me. It feels really good to be so close to home and just to be able to really focus and focus on uh, our training. That's what's up today. Stay but for this camp, we have got some traveling again. I believe went all the way out to Philadelphia, got a weekend with Danny Garcia. What was that like? Oh, it was amazing. We went out there for a couple of weeks and sparred with former world champion Danny Garcia, who's coming off a great knockout victory over Bam Bam Real. So it feels really good to carry that momentum into this training camp. Um, you know, words can't explain how good it feels to be able to carry that into this fight. How did that change you or open your eyes to a couple different things sparring against such a high level guy? Well, it just shows me where I'm at. It shows me that I belong in there with the top dogs. It shows me what I'm made of and that I belong in that ring with the best of them. Talking about being mentioned with the best of them, you've already reached a goal in your career being one of the mainstays of the main event scene here locally. What has that meant to you? It feels really good to be able to see all of my work finally pay off, all the wrench time that I put in. You know, it's been a long road. It's been a lot of hard work, but, uh, you know, I just want to show this next generation of fighters that if you keep working hard, you don't give up, because there was plenty of times that I did want to give up. But if you just, you know, keep pushing forward, you're going to get there eventually, and now I'm here, and I'm excited. What do you want to show in this next fight? I want to show my mean streak, you know, coming off a knockout win, coming off a great camp with Danny Garcia, putting that pressure on him, getting him ready for Bam Bam Rio. So I'm just ready to keep that momentum going, show people how hungry I am, show them the new and improved people, and, you know, there's still a lot of me that they haven't seen, and I'm ready to bring that out and show them that fury. With is it easier even taking the momentum into the camp with Danny coming off of the win at Expo Explosion? Absolutely, even though it, there was a pretty big gap, but I stayed busy. I stayed in the gym. I was helping my amateurs get ready for their fights. Uh, Maximus Moyo and Augustine, you know, they were performing back in Los Angeles for uh, the amateur fights. So, you know, I was training right there with them. I was running with them. We were, you know, working out together, doing strength and conditioning. So, it's, you know, it's been a long training camp, but we've been active. What do you want to do in 2018? Well, I want to keep winning. I have to just keep building my resume and I hopefully get the bigger and better names and hopefully eventually fight on TV and get a big break. That big break. What do you got to do to, to get some of that attention back? Well, I think uh, I have to keep winning, but not just winning, winning impressively. That's what I plan on doing. That I'm bringing back uh, that fire and that spark. What do you know about Morris Rodriguez? I know that he's a tough fighter. I know that uh, his record's a little deceiving, but if you look uh, at the numbers of his record, he's never really fought or beat an opponent with a losing record. All of his wins are pretty much against guys with winning records, so he's dangerous. He's a live opponent. He's not coming in to roll over, so we've trained hard, we've prepared for it, and we're ready for, uh, for a great show. Tell us about maturity in the ring. It seems like you've hit a different level, a different stage in your career. Absolutely. I'm at that point in my career where I know what it takes. I feel very uh, seasoned. I feel almost like a young veteran, and uh, I'm ready to just keep carrying that momentum forward and pushing, you know, and making my mark.